So this is the elastic band magnetosphere, showing it off with brightly coloured elastic bands. Normally, obviously, this is all invisible. Uh, now, the solar wind is a really high-speed gas full of charged particles which hits the Earth all the time. Now, you might think that this magnetosphere, as our shield against it, is static and impenetrable, but that's far from the case. If the solar wind strength increases, if it blows really hard, the thing compresses like this. There are other ways in which the uh, magnetosphere can move as well. Um, you can get all these waves within the magnetosphere just because these field lines have got like a tension just like an elastic band. So missions like Cluster can measure these sorts of things. And uh, the final really cool thing is if the sun's magnetic field uh, from the solar wind is pointed in just the right way, if it's sort of north to south, it can connect into our solar wind, our magnetosphere dragging this tail out like this. Now, if you, if you came over and do this, you'd feel the tension in this field line, the energy you're putting in from the sun. At some point, that's got to give, and it will snap back like that. We call that reconnection, and that is what generates aurora in the northern lights.